were promised to me by the fine creator of this attempt to uh, relive the magic of the Legend of Zelda Adventures of Link. Happy 420 to any of you guys who hit the fucking leaf. I unfortunately am not there. That's okay. I've got a different kind of green that I prefer to surround myself with. It's fucking money. Anyway. One of these days, it'll be legal for me to hit a fat doob on the stream. And on that day, I will do that. Anyway, this is Into the Eternal, and the, the changes that this guy promised me uh, were the following. Number one, we're no longer going to be uh, flying through the uh, dungeon or cave levels if we attempt to uh, run into the wall. So that's, that's a big deal. The controller mapping apparently has been put into here. I have not confirmed that that works, but I am hopeful that I will be able to play this fucking game with the controller this time. I've got coffee on the ready here. Grab that real fast. And then we're going to jump right back into this. And hopefully the combat also is supposed to have one change. It's not good. It's like they didn't fix the combat yet. They He didn't fix the combat yet. But he did fix the bug according to what he said. Where if you're ducking and, and attacking, where it automatically stands you up. That's not supposed to be happening. Alright, so... Am I lucky enough? Nope, that did not work. We're going to have to try. Oh, wait, maybe it is working. We will see. No, I don't like cryptocurrency. I told you. You guys do whatever you want with that shit. I don't want to deal with it. Okay, so we've got jump mapped... Okay, this controller works. Oh, this are, these are horrible button mappings. Who maps these two buttons? These are the two buttons. So I'm going to have to go back and change the controller mapping here. We're going to have to restart this, unfortunately, because this is stupid. Who, who has default controls where square and circle are the, the fucking... Uh, Default jump and attack. That is stupid. All right, so we're, there's a there's a little start game thing here where no, it's not customizable. What the fuck is wrong with this guy? Ah, oh, what the fuck were you thinking? Maybe I can change it here. Man. All right, we're going to try this again. This time, with some custom controls. Yes, they should. Got to give this guy a fucking break, considering that this is not even early access right here. This is... This is fucking something else. This is a uh, Kickstarter access only, and I've, I'm like one of 60 people who have this game right now. All right, so I can duck here. Oh, it still stands him up. That's horrible. The, after the first duck slash, if you, if you rapidly slash, he will stand up. 
So that's not fixed, despite his best effort. Alright, so here I am. I can at least control this motherfucker with a controller, which is gonna greatly increase my chances of survival here. Find some more hats. Oh. Well, I'm fucking this up right here. This is where we could, uh, fly through the wall last time, so we're gonna test that out. He said he fixed that, too. So, I was so far, two fixes out of three promised completed here. Oh. It's horrible. We shall try again. Also, look at this. When I hit this button here, just this button here, it jumps and slashes. That's part of the issue, too. This one slashes. This is a jump slash. Weird. Still broken. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing here. Try this again. Oh, Jesus! You think there's more than one fireball, or uh, there's uh, just a few of these things, but that's not the case. Alright, well, I fucked it up again. Probably not gonna make it through here. Fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. There's a hat that I already think I got, so this was worth this is where I I got Oh I forgot to try to go into the wall there. I was supposed to go into the wall because that's what happened last time, but I get well it didn't maybe bet it's very bet it's less than that, it's alpha. This is pre-alpha, that's what I would call this. Pre-alpha. But it's cool. I do support this, so this has some potential, which is why I'm willing to playtest it for this guy and pay for it. This is something I've been looking for that I don't have, which is a modern version of a game that uses uh, the Legend of Zelda 2 Adventure of Link style of gameplay controls, which I am extraordinarily fond of. This is not there yet, obviously, with the combat. I mean, you can't even duck in the slash without him standing up, so... We're gonna try this, even though we know the hat's there, and we know we already got the hat. I, I am aware of this, but... How many hats can you collect? Okay, I am not going through the wall. So that's fixed. That is a fixed thing. Let's go check these fucking hats out. Okay, I've got controller mapped here. I guess it's kind of drifting, but it doesn't really matter that much. But that gives me two hearts, that hat that I found, if I get that on. So I'm equipping that hat. Good that the hats aren't just cosmetic. Hey, I've got full health now, too. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here so that we can save that I've got this hat. Oh shit. You can't uh, go through these platforms. It's horrible. Thing shoots up a lot of fire at a very consistent interval. God damn it! I noticed the extra health. God, that's horrible! Why is it drifting? Stop! Stop drifting, you shithole! God damn it. The jump button stopped working. 
Good Lord. That fucking spider was just sitting there. It remembers the position of old enemies, I guess? I don't know. That fucking hat is not in there. It takes it away from you. I have to go back and get it again. So I need to get in here, get that hat, and leave. I had it. I had that fucking piece of shit hat. Let's go through this horse shit again. I do not have the patience for this shit. This hat, of course, renders all of the other hats that I have useless. Also, the fact that putting on a, ha a hat... Oh, it just increases your health. It doesn't actually... Uh... I wonder if I can cheese this and turn take this hat off and then put it back on and get health more. Probably not. No. Same. Alright, let's get this motherfucker out of here. This fucking part where I have to be a little bit fucking patient. Oh, fucking bullshit! game is so pre-alpha that Twitch doesn't even have it on the game list. That's what that's what we're fucking dealing with right here. All right, let's get this piece of shit out of here. There's going to be a fucking spider here. Maybe. It ain't here this time. There it is. I love that jump slash that just happened. Like, how was I supposed to hit that guy? There's some problems. That that overhead slash should have hit that fucking guy too. What the hell is this shit? This wasn't there before. Did I go the right way? Not the right way. Did I fall down into here or something? Now the controller's drifting again. I just gotta pray that I can kill these skeletons and get out of here with this fucking helmet. No! Son of a bitch! This fucking sucks! We need far better hit detection on everything. That overhead slash should be hitting that guy. That's awful. It feels worse than it was. I hate this fucking room. I hate that fucking hat. Also, this menu should have a non-pretend mouse controller interface. Like, I shouldn't have to close that. I should be able to, to sift through that shit with the L and R buttons. Jesus! didn't just outright kill me. One false move and I'm done again to do this all over again. All for that stupid hat. 
You notice there's a hit mark on these fucking fireballs, but nothing actually happens to them. You can't kill them. Spiders will be coming. Spiders that I cannot defend myself against because of the hit detection. And because I can't stay ducking while I slash. Fuck! God damn it. This piece of shit sure does need work. I am goddamned and determined, though, to get this fucking hat out of here. If I don't be sloppy when I go down this shitty fire pit, I should be able to handle all the enemies at the end by just tanking their damage. Fuck! Enemies have no problems with their hitboxes. I have nothing indicating that I have five hearts on this green health bar here. No, it's not. There's definitely nothing complicated like that hitbox uh, in Spelunky. This is a very unrefined uh, combat system, which this this attack right here, if I use this button, not the auto jump attack button, which is stupid. It looks like it's an overhead attack. There's a slash right there, and then there you notice that sometimes the overhead frame doesn't happen, and sometimes it does, but that doesn't matter. That overhead attack does not fucking hurt enemies. So it's just a hitbox, I think, in the square in front of his face. Oof, well, that almost fucked me over. Get out of here. Okay, I should be able to tank some damage here. Fucking spiders. Got him. Got lucky. See, no overhead on that. Skulls here. There, there, there are the skulls. Let's just fucking run. More? Where the fuck am I? Do I drop too far to be able to go back? What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm gonna start paying attention to where I'm going. If I go in here, 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 here. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the right there. That's the problem. I'm going the wrong way. Fucking bullshit. I need a fucking doctor to fucking prescribe me a sedative so I can tolerate this horse shit.
shit is about as pleasant as a dick piercing. Oh my god. No! If you dialed in today to see some suffering, you're in for a fucking treat because it's what's happening here. They should fucking take this game and use it to fucking United States Departments of Correction to punish people. Gotta get some fucking hardened criminals playing this piece of shit. They'll be begging to be reformed. This game has all of the fucking fun of waiting for vehicles to move in traffic and other various wonderful gameplay. Damn, my eyes hurt from looking at this shit. Oh, but it's an optional cave! Shut up! Make it more fun! Alright, god damn, let's get the fuck out of here. This is the worst. music loops too often. I should fucking submit this guy a track that's better than this because we'll fix this track because it's garbage. It loops too much. And it loops in the wrong spot. There's no fucking seamless loop. Every every video game track should have a seamless loop. I mean, I know how to do that. It's easy. Whoever this guy got to fucking uh, do his music needs to learn go up this way and then we go to the right oh my fucking god it could be it could have fucking copyright infringed it for all I know I don't know what he did with the music but they he needs better shit this is not acceptable from a from a music standpoint of the, especially the way it loops it's not horrible But it's too short, and the loop is not seamless. If there's anything I could fix personally in this game, well, I could actually personally fix a lot in it, but the, the thing that I could easily personally fix is the fucking music, obviously. Is it really? Is it stolen? So this guy needs a composer still. That, that's what you're saying. This literally is stolen from Zelda CDI. We could get Bite Binge to confirm that. He probably owns Zelda CDI. I wouldn't be surprised. I hope you guys are fucking curled in tight to your beds for a fucking nice hour of watching this shit over and over again. Pull up a fucking, uh, big titted or big dick partner. Hold on tight. No! Fuck! I don't know what the fucking duck walk is, but I goddamn, they're gonna need to fucking put me on a suicide watch pretty soon. This shit. Fuck! This 
game makes me want to ingest lie. We are getting this piece of shit hat out of this piece of shit cave right now we're doing it almost didn't make that one Bullshit. What? That splash got me or something? What the fuck? I can't see enough of this shit. To know that these fucking fireballs are gonna be there before I start jumping. Too many of them. Not particularly realistic either. You know, povados or whatever the fuck they call those motherfucking things in Mario, those go up and down real quick, and there's not like five of them floating. Like, the force of gravity, look at the force of gravity, alright? You know, in physics, right, if you drop a fucking pin and you drop a lead weight at the same time, they're gonna drop the same fucking rate because that's how fucking gravity works. If you don't understand that, go to school what they'll fucking try to teach you while you sleep. But in this fucking case, that'd be why those fucking skulls weren't in there. We're going out of here. We're leaving this shitty ass cave. We'll try to save. My dear lord. Will it even load? Will it load? It will load. Is my controller drifting? It is. What in the hell? What in the absolute motherfuck is going on? Let me save this fucking game, you son of a bitch! Oh, I'm pissed. I better fucking save my game. Where the fuck? How do I go anywhere? What do I do? I unplug this shit. I can't even fucking use my mouse. Cause the fucking controls were set on controller only. Oh. My. God! I think we're gonna have to fucking reject this once more. And try one more time. Fucking plug this goddamn controller in. No, it's fucking hopeless. It's hopeless! I'm gonna be sick! What the fuck? I can't believe I paid good money to fucking be tortured! This doesn't save my motherfucking progress. I'm gonna shit a fucking brick. I think you have to go to a goddamn inn. Look at that goddamn compass. What is it even doing? Do you see how fucked up it is? It's not going the right way. It's going all over the fucking place. Alright. That's it. I can't do it. I can't fucking take this fucking torture anymore. Alt F4 is what's happening here. I've had enough. Jesus fucking Christ. 40 minutes. I've been fucking hurting myself. God damn. I mean, this is some committable shit that I'm doing right here. I'm literally causing myself harm. Someone needs to call a fucking doctor or something. I need a fucking... I mean, honestly, I'd rather be put in chains. 
and play that fucking piece of shit. That did not go well. Let's play some of Biz Odyssey for the moment, just because, you know? I mean, I only have 20 minutes. I might as well fucking play it. If you guys haven't seen this game, it's really good. It's inspired by Smash Brothers. It's a fun game. Uh, I don't play it a whole lot uh, anymore because I've already beat it. Like uh, many great games that I've played before, uh, it's a roguelike. I like roguelikes. Uh, that's why I'm willing to play it a second time after I've beaten it. Because usually it's I'm one and done with fucking games that I've beaten. But if it's got some... What the fuck is all this shit? I don't recall these ads being on the left side. Did they actually update this? This game hasn't been updated in years. I could also do Nightmare difficulty. Let's try that. Oh, I, I don't know who I should choose. I beat the game with this fucker right here. So I should probably choose someone else. I'll choose her. And let's start at the beginning. To give you guys the full experience. In the meantime, you motherfuckers can fucking use your sense of imagination. You know. And fucking, I want you to... Imagine the smell of the delicacy. Look at this. This is the most. This is the most fucking diary. I would rather eat a gallon of that fucking shrimp shit fucking than have to play that motherfucking into the eternal game again. <laughs> Look at this. This is a polished fucking piece of work. This game is. It's very underrated, unfortunately. Fantastic game. Not, uh, not very well known. It's also Spanish in origins, I believe, which is kind of awesome. There are not a lot of uh, Latin American games. I don't know why they just didn't get into the video game making industry as quick as Japan and America did. Well, you don't see a lot of fucking... Forgot how the fuck the controls work. Very unforgiving game. There's nightmare mode, too. I probably shouldn't have played nightmare mode. I don't have my abilities set or anything for this bitch. I've never used her. She's got some jellyfish or some shit. Die. God, these are easy enemies. What am I gonna do? Nightmare is no joke. Well, at least I got my health back. Okay, I need to figure out what my fucking abilities are. I've got nothing, it seems. Oh, there we go. I've got... This guy does a protective fucking swirl around me if I... Oh, I have no mana. You need mana to use abilities? Oh, I've got this. That's kind of dope. Alright, so the special is, is fucking triangle. Regular attacks are square. Jump is, is, is X. I don't know what this... That looks like throw, perhaps? I don't know what that is. Very interesting move. That delicacy, it sells on the market. We have a lot of money, but I'm not willing to spend it on this nightmare run. You, you get to keep your money over time, and you can buy fucking shit in this, like good weapons, but yeah, I'm not doing a serious run where I'm trying to win the game here. I'm not even going to have time. So you can do skill configurations here. Buy a checkpoint. RS. Okay. He says, Bienvenido, which I believe means welcome in Spanish. Possibly Italian as well, it means that, but this is a Spanish game. Pretty sure it ain't Italian. You know what, though? Think about how many countries are in this fucking earth, alright? Think about it. Like, more than 300 fucking countries, right? So, 
Why the fuck aren't more fucking countries making video games, right? Where where are the fucking other countries' video games? They're not around. This is what you can buy. This is a checkpoint. You buy checkpoints. This is a you can summon this thing. You can also fight the shopkeeper, but it ain't worth much. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna fucking use it. I don't know how to summon that, but you can actually become other characters in this game pretty fun. I'm not sure how I'm gonna pull that off with this one. Come on, jump. Thank you. Ugh. wrong with that spider there. I didn't remember wall jumping, but you know, I'm getting wrecked here. Nightmare is no fucking joke. It's a nightmare. I mean, what the fuck? How am I even supposed to get... I think I need to do that to get through this jump. There we go. So you can look down in this game at least, like in Spelunky. That's a very good thing, because you never know what's coming. Dead soldier. I thought I could make it on my own. It was one of those damn spiders that got me. Just take this and go. There's no hope for me now. This character has full ass going on. <laughs> got some money. I've changed myself into this abomination. That lets me leave. I beat a level in here. So that was supposed to be easy. Which, unfortunately, uh, it's not. It's, it's nightmare mode. And I've only beat this hoe on regular mode. Oh, you can just switch by pushing that button. I did not know that. That's fucking awesome. Okay. Well, we can definitely make use of that. If I find some health, I'll switch and give that bitch some health.
that's what you can say. My sayings give wisdom to some. He didn't say it. But not much of anything to others. Care to listen for a hundred gold? The cautious man is worth a couple of. Gave me some experience. Give me money. Very least I'll come out of this with more money. I've got the key to that chest. Gimme. Further down the fucking depths of these fucking caves. Oh my god. Look at what I did to myself. I like fucking got rear end I rear ended this piece of shit here. Hell yes, that's what I want. I was attacked by a figure that looked just like you, but made of smoke and shadow. I'm beyond helping now. Just kill some monsters for me, will ya? Sounds good. Give me your fucking cup. Thank you. You bitch. What do we got here? Here's the map. Here's the level of difficulty. No matter what, if I go to the right 
Or if I go down, I'm going to a medium level. So we might as well get the fuck out of here right now. Oh shit, bite binge. Dude, I the game that I started with, which was Into the Eternal, if you had the fucking uh, decency to show up on time, bite binge, you'd have seen that the game that I was playing is not on the game's Twitch list, so I'd stick it into just chatting anyway. And then the game was so horrible, so vile, so utterly fucking unplayable that I had to switch to this one and I only have 20 minutes left and I don't have time to fuck around. Sayings give wisdom to some, but not much of anything to others. When money speaks, everyone keeps quiet. I got health. That's fucking awesome. Best thing you could get. Welcome to the jungle. Anyway, Bite, this is just filling 20 minutes of time. The truth is, the game I was playing ended up being unplayable at the end. It was pretty rough. God damn. And Bikini Hot Tub stream, I don't know what fucking stream you're watching, but I don't think I could fucking put on a Bikini Hot Tub Tub screen stream if I offer a ton of money. I just don't have any bikinis or hot tubs. It's kind of like the essential two elements of that stream don't exist. That's the key. Fucking bullshit. God damn. Fuck you. Shit was Quick. worthless. I've got a fight. All right, so I've, now I'm a soldier, which sucks. They really they suck, and I. I guy to go on. There's the altar to get my my character back, which is down there. Shit. There she is. You're alive. Come back. I guess Rise. In this place is evil. I'm in your debt for bringing me back. The warlock's mind is trying to banish us, but these altars are somehow beyond his reach. This helps our cause greatly. You're worth at least ten soldiers. I'll keep clearing ahead. Please stay behind and don't risk your life. I will. And if you fall again, I'll find another altar and bring you back. I promise. Anyway, I would like to see more games from other countries, because that would mean we have more games to buy, which would be really nice. I'd like to see some uh, AA or AAA studios coming out of places like Romania and fucking uh, Austria and, I mean, fucking Australia. I mean, we just don't see these things. We see 
We see England and Japan and America, and I mean, all we get from England pretty much is Microsoft and stuff. It's kind of America anyway. Except for, I mean, there's uh, Introversion, that, that fucking game company is from England too. There's a couple, England kinda does it. Anyway, I'm running out of time, unfortunately. I didn't think I'd make it even this far on this nightmare mode, but apparently I was able to make it this far on nightmare mode. Nothing like taking poison damage for nine seconds. Soldier bitch to come with me here. That's fantastic. Ow. this. Come on. Let's go. I believe it is fucking time. Alright, see you motherfuckers later, I gotta fucking go. But anyway, thank you for tuning in if you've fucking done that. And, uh, I don't know, Bite Binge would be like, you need to raid somebody. I doubt there's anybody worth a damn to raid, but I will see very briefly here if I can do that. And... No, 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 no. I like that one so far. No. All right. Answers no. I'm not raiding anybody. Have a good fucking rest of your day, you fucks.